If we are not used to jumping, then we start with really low loads, but we land hard. We don't land soft. We land to absorb it all on the skeleton. A colleague and friend of mine, Dr. Tracy Clissold, has done a lot of research into this space and has developed an app called OsteoGains, where it shows you that a depth jump could be three inches. We're not looking at a 30-inch depth jump. But when you jump and then you land, you land completely solid because then your oh. ground reaction force goes up through the entire skeleton, which then stimulates the bone to do its thing, turn over, get stronger. Whereas if we're looking at the high depth jump and landing soft, it's not the same kind of ground reaction force. You're still getting definite bone stimulus from that. But if you're someone with low bone density and you're looking really to improve that bone density, it's not very high, but it's a hard landing. If you're really afraid of jumping, then this is some way that you can start. And if we start with low height and landing hard, we're also going to be able to stimulate the tendons and ligaments around the bones to then be able to get into higher jumping.